F1's return to Paul Ricard marked 28 years since its last visit to the Le Castellet track and a decade since the last French Grand Prix. There, Lewis Hamilton took an equally historic result with his first win in France and the Mercedes team's first Grand Prix victory on French soil since 1954, the four-time world champion in a league of his own as Ferrari faltered. At lights out, Hamilton got a good start. Ferrari Sebastian Vettel, though, had a better one, but was boxed in by the Silver Arrows and crashed into Valtteri Bottas after the Finn passed him for second into Turn 1. Damaging the Mercedes floor and forcing Red Bull racing driver Max Verstappen to take evasive action off track, rejoining in second. Vettel then hit Haas's Romain Grosjean down at Turn 3, while Toro Rosso's Pierre Gasly collected Force India's Esteban Ocon, forcing them and the safety car out. Vettel and Bottas pitted at the end of the lap with damage. At the restart on lap six, Hamilton led Verstappen, Renault's Carlos Sainz, Red Bull Racing's Daniel Ricciardo, and Haas's Kevin Magnussen, while Vettel was down in 17th, Bottas 18th. Hamilton set a string of fastest laps, while Vettel was up to 11th by lap nine, before getting a five-second time penalty for causing the lap one collision. Out front, Hamilton picked up the pace from lap 18 to protect against the charging Ferraris, with Raikkonen now fourth and Vettel sixth. Bottas was up to 11th. Verstappen pitted from second for softs on lap 25, while Vettel jumped Ricardo at his stop for fourth three laps later. Hamilton pitted on lap 33, retaining the lead ahead of Raikkonen. The Finn pitted the next lap for the super softs, dropping to fifth. But Vettel was struggling on his softs, so he let Raikkonen through on lap 39. Vettel pitted a lap later for the ultras and his five-second penalty, while Raikkonen passed Ricardo for the final podium place at the chicane on lap 47. With two laps to go, a tire blowout for Williams' as Lance Stroll brought out the virtual safety car, but it was Hamilton's day at Le Castellet. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.